بسم الله وبالله ومن الله وإلى الله وما شاء الله وخير الأسماء لله توكلت على الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم اجعلني من عماري مساجدك وبيوتك اللهم إني توجه إليك بمحمد وآل محمد وأقدمهم بين يدي حوائجي فاجعلني اللهم بهم عندك وجيها في الدنيا والآخرة في الدنيا والآخرة ومن المقربين اللهم اجعل صلاتي بهم مقبولة وذنبي بهم مغفورة ورزقي بهم مبسوطة ودعائي بهم مستجاب وحوائجي بهم مقضية وانظر إلي بوجهك الكريم نظرة رحيمة استوجب بها الكرامة عندك ثم لا تصرفه عني أبدا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين السلام على نبي الله إبراهيم In the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful In the name of the one creator, the one sustainer The one sustainer, the honorable, the all-knowing and the all-seeing I begin in his name I begin in the name of Allah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim I begin in the name of my Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy progeny. I begin in the name of my Master, the Commander of the Faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear viewers, today we will take a journey through history. We will take a spiritual journey. We will take a spiritual journey in this holy mosque. I stand today in the holy mosque of Masjid al-Sahla. As you saw, I entered the mosque. I entered the holy mosque and I recited the permission for entrance. I recited the supplication to be recited. When you enter the holy mosque, you seek permission to enter the holy mosque. And here we are now. Behind me is the holy maqam, the holy site of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. One of our forefathers, one of the forefathers of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You see, this holy mosque here, the holy mosque of Sahla, has a lot of history. This holy mosque is the house, the residence of all the prophets before us. And this mosque contains remnants of these holy prophets. This mosque contains pieces and it contains leftovers of these holy prophets, peace be upon them. And the prophet here behind me is Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. It is reported through the traditions, the reliable traditions, that Prophet Abraham here in this mosque resided. And from here, Prophet Abraham used to march towards the giants in Yemen to fight with them. From, from here, Prophet Abraham used to wage, and from here, Prophet Abraham used to leave to go to Yemen to fight the giants. We will inshallah take a journey, a spiritual journey. We will narrate to you the a'mal, the religious duties associated with this mosque. We will narrate to you approximately seven to eight reports on the fada'il, the merits and blessings that the one who comes to this mosque and does the religious duties gets and receives. We will begin. We will begin with the first report. The first report is narrated in the Bihar of Al-Allama al majlis Allah Ta'ala and he narrates it from Qasas Al-Anbiya with the recorded chain of transmission in Bihar on the authority of Ibn Mihran Ibn Mihran a thiqa a companion Imam Al-Sadiq peace be upon him now pay close attention to the words of Imam Al-Sadiq peace be upon him my master he says Ibn Mihran my master Abu Abdullah 
Ja'far ibn Muhammad al Sadiq, peace be upon him, has said. He has said, if you, he's talking to the believer, to the Muslim, to the Shi'i, if you come to Masjid al Kufa, go to the Mosque of Sahla, go to Masjid al Sahla. When you arrive there, make sure you pray and supplicate to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah for any request you desire, be it a request of this world, of this dunya, or the request of the hereafter. He says, Prophet Idris, peace be upon him. Prophet Idris, and as is known in the Bible and the older divine books, Enoch, Prophet Enoch, peace be upon him. Prophet Idris used to reside in this mosque. And inshallah, we will visit the maqam of Prophet Idris soon. And here in this mosque, Prophet Idris used to do his ibadah, his worship, his supplication, his prayer. And in this mosque, Prophet Idris used to do his tailoring. It is agreed upon by all the Muslims that Prophet Idris used to be a tailor. And that was his job. The Imam continues. He says, Whomever supplicates to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this mosque for whatever he desires, Allah will answer his request. And just like I said, Allah will answer his request even if that request may be of this dunya or the hereafter. Then, then what does he say? Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, says, Allah will also keep the person that comes to this mosque and prays and protect him from the, de from the detestable actions and from all pain and suffering in this world. This here is the person that comes to this holy mosque of Sahla. This is the Fada'il. This is my brothers and sisters. One report. One report. Now, before we go into a different report, we will narrate to you the a'mal, the religious duties and how they started. Basically today our journey will be what? Will be we come to a maqam, we narrate a merit, a fadila of the mosque, then we also narrate some of the a'mal narrated by our ulama, the ones that actually saw the holy ma'asum here in this mosque narrating from the ulama. This is narrated in the Bihar of Al-Allama Al-Majlisi Ridwan Allah Ta'ala Alayhi. Al-Allam al-Majlisi narrates, he says, Al-Shaykh al-Shaheed, Al-Shaheed ibn Makki al-Amuli, Al-Shaheed al-Awwal, narrates from Ali ibn Ibrahim al-Qummi, from his father, from his father who? Ibrahim ibn Hashim, the thiqa, the trustworthy scholar, the honorable, the pious. He said, I went to my Hajj pilgrimage. This is Ibrahim ibn Hashim narrating to you. I went on my Hajj pilgrimage. And on my way back from my Hajj pilgrimage, I stopped by the city of Kufa. And I said to my companion who was with me, let us go visit the Mosque of Sahla. We know the Mosque of Sahla is a holy mosque and the mosque has many merit. Let us go visit this mosque. I'll read you the Nas, the actual context in this Hadith by Ibrahim ibn Hashim. He says, upon our entrance in the mosque, I noticed a man performing prayer. I noticed a man performing prayer, bowing down and going into prostration. He said the famous dua, Ant Allah, la ilaha illa ant, you are Allah, there is no God but you until the end of the supplication. He completed his supplication, he got up and then he went to one of the corners of the mosque. So maybe he went to either this corner or the following corner and then he stood there and he started praying again. This is the first part of the hadith. And before we go into detail about the hadith, what we will do is we will go visit another maqam and narrate to you another tradition. And then keep in mind that this hadith of Ibrahim ibn Hashim will continue throughout our spiritual journey in this mosque. So inshallah, we will soon follow to the next mosque. We will go to the next maqam. We will go to the maqam of the Salihin. We will go to the, ma the maqam of the prophets and the messengers and the Salihin, the pure souls. So inshallah, after we go to the next mosque, after we go to the next holy site, inshallah ta'ala, God willing, what we will do, we will also narrate to you a different merits of the mosque, and we will continue narrating the hadith of Ibrahim ibn Hashim. So stay with me inshallah, and may this journey be beneficial for you. Bismillah ta'ala, bismillah.
But it has been narrated, of course, as the hadith you'll see, I made claims. I made claims, so what I will do is I will back up my claims. I claimed what? That the prophets and messengers prayed here. I claimed that this mosque has a beautiful sanctity. 